What's up guys? Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And we got ourselves a Red Hot Rush package. Stay tuned. All right, so I just got back from in the woods, hunt a couple different places. First thing this morning, I was actually calling and filming with Dylan from Hooked on Fishing. He was on the channel recently. You guys probably remember him. Hopefully you guys have subscribed to his channel because we will be mix, mixing a lot of videos on his and ours, both hunts, fishing, etc. But we're, we're close, but no cigar. We just ran out of time. He had to be to work, and uh, we had four working, so... It was smart just to back out, wait for another day. He's going in tomorrow. He can hunt till noon, so odds are he smokes one. I'll be back to work, unfortunately, so I hope he gets it. But I made a purchase, this right here, and I have to say this is some of the fastest shipping I've ever had in my life. But let's open this up. So as you can see, it's camera. Okay. It's camo. Now, the pants I'm running right now are my trees in. Now these are great pants, but the one thing I don't like about them is they're extremely warm. They're really hot. They're not very breathable. Uh, I do love them for bow hunting early season and actually into mid-season during archery. But I do like them for the early hunts. But getting past that, they are not breathable at all. They keep you warm, but when you're when you're putting in miles and you're trying to strike a bird on public and you got to travel and it's 95. Uh, that's not my first bet. Okay, they're they're very warm. So I wanted another pair of pant that was more breathable, lightweight, and just it's just nice to have two pairs. As you guys know, you hunt in a downpour, you get soaked. You, that way you can hunt with dry britches next day. This is what I ended up getting. Is oh yeah, these are nice. The Nomad Leafy Pant. Now, as you can see, it's got the leaf is on the patterns on both sides, which is nice. It's not just bleeding through. It's actually on both sides, which I was worried about. Also, I was looking at North Mountain Gear, but their pants look to be just like my top, which is see-through. And if I buy pants, I don't want see-through pants. I want something that I can just wear by itself and be set. So I, I was looking into it, doing the research, and this is what I ended up with. And I noticed there's not a lot of videos with these, this pant right here on YouTube. So I will be doing an in-depth review of this, going over all the features, all the specs, all that. Uh, but I don't like reviewing things, as you guys know, until I've tested them. I'm, I'm going to put this through the work, probably hang those up, unless we get a random cold spell, which is very probable in New western New York. So, But I'm going to give these a go so I can test them out and review them and get a review on YouTube so you guys can know what to expect with Nomad. But I can tell you right now, there's two butt pockets. They're fairly deep. It looks to be two pockets right here. You do have this giant button. I don't know why that's there because you could get into the pocket without it. So it looks like you have two smaller side pockets that are buttoned. You have your normal pocket right here. It's pretty shallow. And it looks to be looks to be it so that's what you got so you got your normal pockets two in the back two button side pouches I would call them they're not really that deep then you got two regular pockets and the main thing I like about these Nomad is they're not overwhelmingly bright as you can see there's a good blend of green and uh, regular just camo and as you can see the leaves move really well and it goes all the way up and I do see that there's I don't like that there's already strands like right along the stitching that doesn't that doesn't make me very happy just pay a hundred bucks for a pair of pants and they're already 
in a, a bunch of places too. There's there's some more of it. Right there, right in the stitching, it's coming loose. But we'll see. We'll see if they hold up. Now I'm gonna throw these on over my shorts, and we'll uh, see how they look. But the main reason why I went with these over North Mountain gear is, like I said, you can see that these aren't see-through. They're actually a legit pant, and they look really lightweight and breathable. And I love my Nomad camo, so I had to try these out. Hawk and Moose both have this, the Nomad Stretch Light Pant. I almost went with it, but I, I figured I'd try the leafy ones because we're going to do reviews on all of these at the end of season when we put them through the paces. But they both, man, they both love those Stretch Light Pants. They say they're extremely breathable, they're lightweight, and they absolutely love them. And this is the same design, just with leaves. So both cost you 100 bucks. Let me take my boots off, get those on. A little Stella here. Say hi. Yeah, I know. I know. You miss me. I get it. I get it. Say hi to the camera. Little Stella here is going to be on the camera. Say hi. Say hi, Stella. Yeah, there's the money. <laughs> right. I'll put you down. She missed me all morning. Huh. She'll be on the camera. Just kidding. But let's see how they look. Let's get to it. All right. So I got a large, and I can tell you right now, it's perfect for the first time. Ooh. These are freaking awesome. There's a, uh, let me, let me turn this down here. On this side, it auto adjusts to you. This band right here, they call it an auto adjust. And as you can see, you could, I'd actually recommend getting a size smaller because look how much room you have. I mean, that gets all the way out a good three inches or so out with leeway. So, I mean, I got a large because I wanted something a little tighter. Those are a large and they ran big. But these, these are really nice. I mean, I won't even have to have a belt on. But I do like the fact that they have that much wiggle room. Well, here it's starting to rain again. That's what we were battling on public all day today. It was just rain. I was trying to get something fired up, but couldn't get nothing. But let me step back, show you the camo. Like I said, when we do the review, Hawk or Moose will be here so they can film so we can get a better look at this. But I will hang these up and run some B-roll here. But this is how they look. As you can see, the leaves, they got a lot of wiggle to them. And... The camo, the camo to them look really nice. The leaves go all the way down. And like I said, it's a good blend of bright and dark contrast colors. It's, so I think this will definitely break you up and the leaves will help break up the profile. But as far as the pockets, the back pockets, they do go a little deeper than I thought now that I got them on. The side pockets are perfect. I still don't really know why they put a button on these on the side pouches because realistically, you can get in them without, without the button being uh, released. So I'm not sure why that's there. But I do like the big button design. Easy to get to even with gloves on. So you had to get something real quick when a old long beard's working in you don't have to take gloves off same with the top it's a big button but i tell you what the fit of these man these are comfy i wouldn't order a size bigger i'd or order the size you would think would fit or maybe a little tight because this auto adjust i mean it's got so much play to it that if you had to crouch down real quick you ain't gonna rip, rip your britches it'll just adjust it's really quite something for a hundred bucks, these pants are definitely worth it in my eyes as of right now. There's a couple things I don't like seeing some spots of the sewing's going. I don't like that, but we will do an in-depth review at the end of the season. I'm going to wear these for the rest of the season and just beat the crap out of them. Put the miles in and uh, really see what they can do. Well, as you can see, it's really nice weather here. 
What I like about this Nomad right off the get-go is the fact that it's an actual leafy pant. Now I say that because there's a lot of leafy pant covers, I call them, as you got to wear camo underneath and pull them up over. I really don't like those. It just complicates everything. They get caught on everything, which I'm curious to see this. I mean, you can see with the wind going, the leaves have some natural wiggle to them. So I'm wondering how they how they get caught on briars and stuff like that. I know my North Mountain gear has been really good, so I'll be interested to see how this works. But even in this light breeze on the deck, the leaves have a little bit of natural sway to them. I like that. And like I said, when we're filming, we need to break up our profile as much as possible. I actually have the quick camos uh, cover suit for the camera. That's what we use over our this main rig. The little one we don't we don't camo up, but this one we put it right over the top of the mic and everything, so that way we're camoed up. Because when you're filming, it really is hard to film and hunt turkeys. It is, but I really can't wait to test these out sadly i gotta go back to work tomorrow but i will do a review with all the features the my likes dislikes my thoughts and as you guys know it's going to be honest no bullshit if i like it you'll know if i don't you'll know so can't wait to take these afield might take them to kentucky this weekend hawk and i are unsure if we're going back because it might be raining all weekend if that's the case we're going to stay up at home and hunt here but if it looks like it's going to be good, we're going to leave Thursday night, hunt Friday, Saturday, Sunday, half a day because it's Mother's Day, and then come home and have dinner with their mamas. So hopefully we can take these to Kentucky. Let's pray that this rain stays up here, <laughs> not in Kentucky. But guys, if you haven't yet, make sure to smash the thumbs up button. I know there's not a lot out there on the Nomad Leafy Pant, but I can tell you right now I'm a pretty picky individual. I really like it out of the get-go. I am there's the only thing I can say I don't like is the fact that there's multiple spots where the stitching's kind of frayed already, and I just unboxed these, so I don't like that. I'm gonna take some pictures, send it to Nomad, see what they say. Uh, I'll let you guys know in the review what they say about it. Um, but yeah, overall, really impressive. Can't wait to test it. Can't wait to get you guys a review. But, but guys, this is just a first look, unbagging, I guess you would say, of the Nomad Leafy Pant. This is pretty much like their stretch light, just with this 3D leaf design, which, guys, out of the bag, minus the sewing problems, these things are really impressive. They're lightweight, breathable, and that's exactly what I'm looking for, and something to break up my profile. But I will give you a no-bullshit review once we test them. But guys, smash that thumbs up button for your boys. We're out here grinding. We're getting after it in the turkey woods. We've been close outside of my first bird on opener. We've been close every day. Uh, we almost shot a couple this morning with Dylan from Hooked on Fishing. So, so make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We are uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hunts will premiere, and they can premiere at any day. They may premiere during the week during our normal upload schedule. Or they'll premiere Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. It just depends when we shoot birds, when we get good hunts, when we can drop a hunt video. Then that's where the notification bell is key. But guys, this is Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. And so far, these bad boys are pretty impressive. For $100, they're not that bad because they're legit, legit leafy pant. Not no BS pullovers. These things are pretty nice. But will it hold up? <laughs> we'll know soon. Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors, and I'll catch you on the next one.